when you draw a simple flower, uh, you can start with a really light draft and then uh, make sure you have at least these four colors, uh, red, yellow, green, and brown. So we're gonna start with the center of the flower. Um, I'm gonna add using size five brush. You can mix up the green and the brown. So this one might have too much brown, so a little more green. Just do a really gentle circle and then rinse, rinse your brush. Now we want to add a little bit of yellowish around the center. So when you control the value of your um, color, the more water you add, the lighter it will appear on the paper. Here is how I do my yellow. You want to test out <clears throat> if this is the color you desire. If not, then just rinse and <clears throat> add more. All right, I think that's good for me. Um, so yellow, remember the stroke, have some reg regular, so have some regularity. <clears throat> In the way how you do it okay so one two three four and i have about one two three four five petals as well one two three four five now uh, i want to change a different brush because this one is primarily green and yellow <clears throat> so you want to use a bigger brush for the uh, the petal i use size eight now let's add a little bit of red so um in this case you might want to load your brush with a lot of water um let me see okay it's always useful to test out if this is a color you desire so you could test out around the flower or use a different paper so let me test out i think that's about right so i'm gonna do this remember your brush this is not um there's not enough water so i'm gonna add more water observe how i do the petal so the bottom get closer to the yellow and the tip of the brush um, closer to the side of the petal a little more water and more pigment So ideally, <clears throat> the belly part of your brush um, touch the yellow part so the yellow could travel um, in the water as well. And now uh, we want to use the tip of the brush to do a wetting, wetting wet. And you want to do it kind of fairly quickly, otherwise the water will dry up and it doesn't look as good. Okay, and then I'm going to do another round. See this one uh, did not bleed as well, so what I can do is I could add some water over here. 
This, this one's a clean brush, by the way. And then keep doing my bleeding thing. So just add a lot of pigment at the tip and then just do wet and wet. Okay. And then use a clean brush to let the petal to bleed a little bit over here. Or if you do it pretty well, it, um, it could just travel by itself. Now we're going to wait for the flower petal to dry so we could add <clears throat> a different layer. Uh, but now we could uh, work on the stem, the stem of the flower. Alrighty, so I'm going to get a little bit green and yellow and brown. Now you can look at my, the way I mix up. So a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of brown. I think this is the color I want, this color, and then I'm just going to do this. Uh, try to finish in one stroke. And then if you're not happy with one stroke, try to try to just minimize um, how many stroke you use on one leaf. Okay. So that brown, green, a little bit yellow, mix up. Just do this. Remember, remember the stroke. Try to do a regular one. Try to go like this. Like this. This one doesn't have enough water, so I'm gonna get more pigments on my brush. So um, now I think the petal almost dried up over here, so I could start with here to do a second layer. Uh, this one I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse this brush, and then I'm gonna add more yellow in the center. This time you wanna make sure. Um, the brush is um, dry, so if you have a paper towel, you can wipe it. Okay, have a lot of yellow on your brush. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer for the water to dry up. Now I could just paint around the center of the flower. Make sure um, when you do these small sections, uh, make sure the brush is relatively dry. Don't add too much water, okay? Because you want the you want the value to be a little bit darker when you do this step. Okay. If you want to use a smaller brush. If you prefer, it's fine, but <clears throat> I'm just going to use the tip of the brush to do this. All right. Um, now let's do the second layer. So again, get a um, little bit of red. That's my red brush. Um, you want to add maybe 50 to 
50 to 70 percent of water and again you could test it out maybe a little bit of yellow not too much so okay let's test out again yeah that's good so i'm just gonna do a little bit of red on the petal okay so this color is kind of orangish but not too much because this flower is still primarily a pink flower this is the second layer uh it's pretty much wet on dry because you know this part of the petal has dried up already all right so second layer done let's do the third layer Uh, now I want to add a darker green around the center. So let's do brown and green. This time you want to add uh, maybe more brown. Okay. So that's like a brownish green, maybe a little bit more green. Yeah, so that's the green I want. And then you just do this, 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 this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for a very simple beginner level watercolor 